my rats just want to say before we get into the video you can see in the past month 69.2 percent who have been watching these videos are not subscribed so before you get into this video please go and hit the subscription button and like the video for more content from my ranch youtube welcome back to another video by myself my ranch youtube and today we are speaking about another youtuber now before we get into this video, you know what you've got to do? You've got to get that thumb and like the video and subscribe down below and comment what you think, you know, as you do. Now this video is about an absolute legend on and off YouTube. This guy is true and true. No fakeness about this guy. He's a... He's a sharpshooter when it comes to speaking. He doesn't hesitate to say anything. And the guy in question is the original African. From trolling the youth and the public of the Northeast to becoming a rapper by the name ASAP Alberto and to becoming the forefront of the Black Lives Matter movement in Newcastle. The original African is a man of many trades. The man is iconic with his content, from making such classics as Is Five Inch Big Enough? Finding the Hardest Man in Stockton, Middlesbrough, Darlington, Newcastle. Like I said, I'm, I'm from Middlesbrough College, I go to Middlesbrough College, and I go to Dar I'm from Darlington. And like, to know that there's someone like him repping the North East, how he's doing, it's unbelievable. Now, honestly, like, the fact that he's, he's a guy who took that concept and brought it to re revive, the man is a legend. And I can prove it right now. As I'm recording this video, a month today, I did my 46 kilometer walk for the late George Floyd in aid of Black Lives Matter. Now, I fought humbly to do it out of my own accord. I wanted to do something because I was passionate about the movement. And basically, I sent a screenshot of my journey where I walked and I sent it to 30 YouTubers and influencers and celebrities. Now, this, I sent it to the original African and this was his response. Now, that, that there gave me so much confidence to keep what I'm doing up. And I felt like after he said that, I wanted to do a protest on my own, a peaceful protest in South Park and I did do that on the 13th of June 2020. Now I had a massive turn up, turnout and if anyone was at the protest I commend you so, with so much respect. We made history there. We conveyed Darlin and stood up for what we believed in and the matter and the agenda. It is not okay to not be racist. Like I say, we need to eradicate the people who are, who are racist and to give them a little tap on the shoulder and to say, listen, we can't go on like this. We need to show equality and diversity across the nation, across the country and across, across, all across this platform. We've got YouTubers like Shane Dawson and everyone doing blackface. Like, what's the point in doing that's just racist and horrible and slanderous? Now, with the original African, his content is so, so brilliant. It's unique, it's original, like the original African in his name, pardon the pun. Like I say, he's done brilliant, brilliant content. And we're gonna get on now to the part for the past month where he's been active in the Black Lives Matter front. The original African, as you may tell, he is from the North East. He's from Newcastle, down the tune, up the tune. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not uh, a fan, but in the words of Linda, Linda Svan, 
Fuck on the tines, oh mine, oh mine. Fuck on the tines, oh mine. Yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> now, with the original African, now I'm gonna put that down. The original African is unbelievable in the context of how he could influence his platform to convey his feelings and anger and frustration due to the systemic hold of Black Lives Matter. And what I'm gonna show now is two videos. One is when he was at the Black Lives Matter event in Newcastle and a video he made which was about I will not stand down, he wouldn't give up. That's a guy who he is. The guy is a humble man. He's a legend, he's everything you could describe. So what I'm gonna do now is insert the two clips on a roll and honestly, just appreciate what, what's said because just, just saying, it's quite emotional. It got me choked up when I seen it firsthand. So, here we are. So basically, yeah, I'm the Black Jordy, and I'm here to speak here. Yeah. I'm feeling emotional seeing everyone here today. They tried to tell us we couldn't do this. They tried to tell us it was going to be shut down. They told us up there we couldn't march down here. And look how many of us are here. Look at us. They tried to shut up, but we won't shut up. We have big mouths. We have big voices. We have our breaths. George Floyd didn't have his breath, but we will use our breaths to fight. And I have a message for the world, yeah? Right, Newcastle is my city, and to the world, Newcastle stands with you. This is the black and white sea. Look at all the people here. Black, white, everything. Look at everybody here. And I've got a message for all these fuckers who are trying to be racist about all lives matter and that. We're exposing you. Online, I'm seeing your own friends expose you. If you're a racist, you will be exposed. You ain't getting killed for having a fake check. Police aren't shooting your people all the time, are they? No. You aren't being impressed and you know white privilege is there. And you know that black people are struggling in society. We are being oppressed. So we will fight. And by the way, yeah, big up to all the white people, Asian people, people who aren't even black that turned up today. Because they know what we're fighting for. And they are fighting with us. And what we say to every single one of you who has a problem with that, yeah? Fuck you. Straight up. And I mean that from the worst part of my heart, yeah? Fuck you. Because I don't care how you feel. I would rather fight for my human rights than stay at home and avoid coronavirus to come back into a world where I don't have my rights. Where my brothers don't have their rights. Where black people are being... It's mad. It's mad that he can convey that, his anger into that. He could influence and plague people into believing it and it's wonderful that he's acknowledged his frustration to help people acknowledge not to be racist. And if you have never seen a video of Original African, he's an icon with over 30k followers on Instagram, with over 200k followers on TikTok. The guy is an icon living and sooner or later you'll hit the goals of 100k subscribers on YouTube then to a million subscribers and then he can influence more people to be coming out of the shells, shells and to, ex to, to express their views and feelings about what's going on in the world this video is about a legend, the original African and honestly I cannot say anything more about him because that's how much of a legend he is and if you're watching it, ASAP Alberto, you know, I salute you and I respect you. If you like the video, everyone, please subscribe, please like, and don't forget notification button on for my uploads. Two videos a day, every day, without fail. I am not stopping until I make it, because that's my dream. The original African influenced me to express myself to do things for charity, to do things for movements. I have that right to express my freedom of speech and that man gave me it. That man fueled the ignition to drive 
this Black Lives Matter movement all the way to the future. Let's end racism. Respect to Rudolf African. Much love, my mates. Thank you very much, and goodbye.